hello friends welcome back to our channel b for btech so in this video we are going to see about common threats to database security so what is common threats to database security so sometimes in an organization when there is a database and there is a lot of data then there is uh, there is possibility that some database may be threatened by someone which is inside of that organization or outside of an organization so there are basically five types of threats that may be possible uh, for a database security like this type of threats are common when we are talking about the database management so first one is internal threat second one is external threat Th third one is network threat fourth one is data threat and fifth one is application threat so first we will see about internal threat what is it so basically it is originating from within an organization means this threat can be possible and this threat is due to the person who is working in that organization and that is an insider person so these are the five possibility from which this threat can be possible first one is unauthorized access that means they are having certain boundaries or field within which only they are having the access but when they are trying to get into the area where they do not have that access that means there is unauthorized access so in that case uh, there is a uh, internal threat and there is a breaches of security second one is data theft sometimes that internal person is trying to uh, steal the data of an organization through various means third one is data manipulation they are manipulating the data and fourth one is human error sometimes they are not trying to do the things but it is happening by mistake so it is considered as human error but it is also one of the threat in the database security and the final one is misuse of database privilege whatever the privilege they are having uh, uh, to sign in or to authorize access and everything they are sometimes misuse that information so this is also one of the uh, threat coming under internal threat now we are going to move for the second one external threat so these are basic these are basically originating from outside of an organization that means they are done by the outsider person uh, of an organization in that they are doing this threat with the help of injecting malicious sql code to the system or to the software through that only uh, it gives a threat to the database second one is injecting through malicious scripts malicious scripts are there and they are injecting that scripts into the database or software through that only uh, these threats are happening third one is phishing and social engineering phishing means when uh, we are clicking in uh, on any unauthorized uh, websites or link of any website that is not okay so this type of things are coming under uh, phishing so that is also when we are clicking that link which is uh, not uh, which is not coming from a proper source so that is coming under phishing fifth one is various attacks like malware attacks brute force attacks these are also some of the attacks uh, that are done by the external person or outsider person to steal the data of an organization so that is considered as a external threat third one is network threat it usually targets the devices or data transmitted over net network whatever the data transmitted over a certain network it usually targets that and through this network they are trying to steal the database information of an organization so uh, this is happening with uh, three to four things first one is injecting malicious software they are injecting the malicious software to any system and through that they are trying to steal the information second one is hacking database network they are hacking the network of the database and through that only they are all the information of the database they are getting it third one is phishing and social engineering attacks as like external attacks external threats these are also possible in the network that means phishing and social engineering attacks are also there and the fourth one is intercepting database communication now the fourth threat is data threats so what is it first one is unauthorized data access means the person who is not having the access for the particular data they are uh, trying to get that data through unauthorized means so that is coming under the data threats second one is accidental data damage when a person is not trying to damage the data but with sub certain uh, like uh, functions and certain codes that data may be damaged so this is considered under a uh, uh, data threats 
third one is stealing sensitive data so uh, in an uh, in a database manage management database there are certain uh, data are there that is most important and that is very very sensitive for a organization so when a person is trying to attack for that particular sensitive data that may be considered as a data threat fourth one is in intentionally data detection means they are trying to do the data breaches and they are trying to steal the data database information intentionally and fifth one is unauthorized data modification means they are not having the access to modify the data but still they are modifying the data without the permission of the authorized uh, user so that is coming under the data threats now the fifth one is application threat that is the last threats in the database uh, um, database secret in this risk associated with software applications means whatever the applications are there and apps are there in that when uh, in the database there are certain threats are there so that is coming under application threats first one is it is done by certain means like injection uh, injection attacks then sensitive data exposure then api vulnerabilities so by injecting some sql queries and sql scripts they are trying to uh, steal the information through the application threads so this is also coming under the database threads now how uh, how organization can save their database so these are the certain strategies through which the organization can save the, their databases first one is strong authentication mechanism if the uh, organization have uh, is having two step or three step verification or two, two or three step authentication then they can uh, this is one of the strategy to secure the database second one is data encryption means the user who is uh, having the access to certain database and whatever the data they are trying to access that only can be accessed by that particular user so that is uh, one of the strategy third one is regular updates means whatever the update is coming to the software they need to do it um, at a certain interval of time as soon as possible so that regular updates is also one of the strategies in the database security fourth one is implement backup and recovery whatever the data is lost uh, if you'll have certain backup and recovery then that database and then data and information can be referred uh, then backed and recovered again so that is also one of the strategy fifth one is con continuous monitoring means if certain things are in if certain data are stealing or something is happening then they can monitor it and they can uh, recover that data easily if they are having a continuous monitor on that certain database sixth one is implement security controls so if uh, if they are having the security controls over the certain database or certain software then there is a very less chance of security breaches in that so we have learned the database threats whatever the database threats can be possible for an organization so these are the five uh, threats we have studied today and what are the strategies through which we can secure our database so thank you for watching this video thank you so much